Hello, people. I'm sure um, many of us may have seen the the written address by the APC Candidates Council, the 49 pages, and the extra 10 pages that had to do with their objections to evidence tendered in court during the pre um, presidential election petition tribunal. I have consumed all of them. I've gone through all of them. And all I could see was nothing but empty, hollow argument. I know that lawyers could just try to find a way to make their case. And I remember what my professor told me whilst I was in the university that if you don't have a good case, what you do in your thesis is to try to make it flowery, to, you know, to try to build something, just make it smooth. And to the best of my knowledge, that is what APC and the, their candidate's lawyer succeeded in doing. Just polishing empty cues of arguments and making it look like they were being very matured and what have you. I even without, even without seeing the response of the Labour Party, which will be coming out later in about five days time or thereabout, I can tell you that all those arguments were empty and they will be debunked starting from the People's Court on this channel. I want us to watch and from now going forward, how I will present side by side the original petition of the Labour Party and this response. I can't believe that this is what they have as their own response. I can't believe that they couldn't call a witness so that they could go and write this. Is this what they want to use to convince the judges and the Supreme Court judges to sustain the rape of our democracy that INEC perpetuated? It is so surprising. But as I keep the, the petition of the Labour Party by the side and bring this, their response on the other side, I'm going to begin to piece them together. The law of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as written in our constitution and the Electoral Act 2022. And I'm going to begin to present them, countering all the argument law by law, act by act. And I can tell you something. This, their response will fall like a pack of card. I just want us to tune into this channel all through this period until the Labour Party response comes out. I will be explaining and debunking their argument. I don't know how you're reading it, but I've read it. They are empty. They are hollow. They are absolutely nothing. And I am really, really, really surprised that this is all they could put out. If you haven't gone through it, you can go and read them and ask your questions on the comment section so that as I begin to break them down going forward from now, I can respond to your questions and use it to build our case. Thank you. Stay tuned on this channel. This is the place to be. You need to be educated. Don't be carried away and don't be deceived. Something great is coming the way of the Labour Party. If this is the best APC and their candidates can do, if this is their own response, then the chances are even pretty much higher for Labour Party to win this case and move into Aso Rock and deliver for Nigeria the promise that our principal, Peter Gregory, will be made. Remember, he said, I won the election and I will prove it. Indeed, it is very, very, very possible that he can prove it and he will indeed prove it. Thank you so much. Stay tuned on this channel as we continue to break it down in our subsequent sessions. God bless you and keep praying for Nigeria as well. Thank you.